notes on our attribute. So we're looking at stored versus derived attributes. For a stored attribute, this is going to be like a birth date. We're going to want to store that. Now a derived attribute is when we can get this from something. If we have our current date and we know the birth date, we can derive a person's age from this. It's good that we set it up like this because we want to know everything. We want to know the age, current date, and birthday. Well, if we know the current date and we know the age, that's not going to be able to tell us the birthday. We won't know that. So the way that we set it up like this is we have our birthday and current date and age. So we know all three values, which is what we want. So looking at this kind of updated chart that we have, the dashed lines around age mean derive, and we will get this through a query. Notice how our birthday and age are not specifically related. This is to maintain consistency as they are separate. That's gonna be it for our stored versus derived attributes. Next, we are going to be looking at entity types and entity sets and conclude our entity and attributes with a diagram.